Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop? Well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. See you later. How you doing? Hey there. If you want to buy something from a shop, you'll have to wait till it opens. Come back soon now. How you doing? Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Sure thing. Have a look.
Come back soon now. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? I think you better leave. I don't have friends here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. Yeah. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Come back soon now. What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot it's me. Otherwise, it's Boone. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted. Earned my future. Brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Believe me. When I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Man, 
Everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly, just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it, there's so much chaos when you're fighting, you're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me, it just wasn't the same, so when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Sure I know him, what do you want with him? Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya. Heard you helped out Jackson. Thanks for that. Caravans are still waiting for clearance to move out, but at least there's movement. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They... They aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Thank you. 
Thanks for bringing the word. Even if the news is bad, I'll let the men know. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch.
hide, and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We took one of the women alive. Any word on Station Charlie? What? What happened? Those were good men at that station. Good men. This whole town was sleeping a lot easier because of them. Now, who knows what we're in for? The Legion? Christ. We'd be better off with raiders. Well, thanks for telling me. I know that knowledge didn't come without risk. Here, take this. Courtesy of the Ranger Veterans Fund. Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. 
I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Look out for yourself. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction, explosions and such. Watch out for strangers. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. I can't see as how I'd charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. The room's on me. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Watch out for strangers!
Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Sure thing. Have a look. Come back soon now. Just showed up out of nowhere and lent a hand. We appreciate it. from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. 
I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. Oh, I tend to my ranch, that's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Losing don't describe it, it's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. So long. here. What brings you here? Well, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Boom. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. I'm not sure who started it. it wasn't a very nice name. But he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway... I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Oh, well, I'm Alice, and you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Nice of you to visit.
You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon, even my favorite chair. The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. Happy to do it. Give me a sh Take care now. This is a restricted area. State your business. Your being here is a start, soldier. 
We aren't exactly overflowing with troopers here. But if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back of the plant building. He's been trying to get this place running for months and hasn't made any forward progress. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <sighs> Jerk-offs. I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell, if we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Later. <laughs>